favorite place to go You're at the end of my favorite road Above the rest, you're the best I know So over the weekend, I finally had the opportunity to test out the Canon C70. And honestly, I am so excited about this camera. Granted, it is about seven months later, but I am excited nonetheless. And I just love all the features that this camera presents. So for today's video, I wanna give you all my honest opinion from a wedding videographer's perspective. So without further ado, intro. What's up everyone, Jared with an I here. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I am a wedding filmmaker and this channel is all about giving you the confidence to lean into a full-time career as a wedding professional. So if you're into that sort of thing, it would mean a lot if you consider subscribing and giving this video a like because every like helps. All right, so today we're talking about the Canon C70, what I like, what I don't like. This past weekend was my first time using this camera, so I guess it's more of like a first impressions video, but hopefully by the end, you might have a clear idea on whether or not you feel this camera is right for you and your business. The C70, if you haven't heard of, is a part of Canon's cinema line and one of the first cinema cameras to include the RF mount if not the first camera to include the RF mount. It does seem that Canon is pushing this new line of lenses on us, and honestly, I am just not there financially or emotionally, if I'm being honest with myself. The C70 is a substantial upgrade from Canons like the C200, the C100, and even the mirrorless side of Canon. I am a huge fan of cinema cameras for a few reasons, but one of the main reasons is, of course, it is centralized to video. Meaning that if you and your business are only focused on video creation, then this camera is going to be right up your alley. Of course, another reason why I love cinema cameras and the Canon C70 is its functionality. Right out of the box, you are getting a camera with video specific functions. Features like built-in NDs, which go up to 10 stops, which is actually pretty amazing. Buttons for peaking, zebras, iris, white balance waveforms. Canon makes it super simple to navigate this camera even if it is your first time using one. What really impressed me on the C70 is its dynamic range. With it sharing the same sensor as the Canon C300 Mark III, there is a lot to be appreciated in this compact cinema camera. Which brings me to my next point which is the form factor. It honestly feels similar to a 1DX Mark II or 1DC and it is relatively lightweight compared to my R6 with a fully decked out cage. Paired with a gimbal, I can definitely see this setup kind of killing your arms after a couple hours. But I went handheld pretty much all day with this camera and honestly, I didn't really have any issues. But for the most part, going handheld or on a monopod, I really just love the look and feel of this camera. Of course, we have to talk about the more obvious features, which is the flip out LCD screen. Obviously, this is the direction that most manufacturers are headed and I am for it. The only gripe that I have about the C70's flip out LCD screen, uh, this is a rented model and I'm sure it's just from wear and tear, um, but it does feel a little bit loose that, you know, it. I don't wanna say the word cheap, but it did feel a little bit flimsy, like I might accidentally just snap this monitor off. And being on shoot, I just was kind of nervous about that. But overall, I think just taking a small Phillips head screwdriver and tightening those knobs and it should be good to go. With the flip out LCD screen, you are blessed with a touch screen. So it makes it super simple to navigate through your settings and change things on the fly. Changing your ISO, shutter, white balance, and even switching between Super 35 and Super 16 when you need to punch in your image. This is especially helpful if you need to cover more ground on a wedding. And honestly, I love having features like that. Another feature that I desperately wish was available in the Canon R6, but that is available in the C70, is assignable buttons. This camera is completely customizable in the sense that you can set up a specific task, customize your menus, assign buttons, and really dial in a workflow that works for you. It makes it so much easier on location. You're not having to sift through menus and try to find the settings that you need and wasting time. It's all available at the click of a button. Then again, I know the argument can be made that the R6 isn't a dedicated video camera, but then explain to me why Sony has those features available in their mirrorless lineup a little frustrated. So let's talk about the battery life. So the batteries that come with the C70 are the BPA30 batteries 
and honestly, I love them. You do only get about two hours of battery life, but that is to be expected considering the output. I think as long as you have at least three batteries on a wedding day, you're gonna be fine. Typically what I do is just leave one charging and then I swap out when needed. When it comes to cinema cameras versus mirrorless or traditional DSLRs, you will notice most mirrorless cameras have a digital look and feel to the image. There's more contrast and the overall tonality of your image has that digital look. With the C70 and its impressive dynamic range and sensor, you are getting the look and feel of a film camera. The image has softer highlights and it just emotes a cinematic feeling in my opinion. Continuing with that thought, let's talk about the recording modes. The C70 has four modes, AVC 10-bit, MP4 H.265 at 422 and 420 in 10-bit, and then of course your H.264. I love the flexibility that you have to choose between 10-bit and 8-bit, of course, depending on your situation. Maybe you need to record a long format and your card doesn't really have the necessary space to add that extra 10-bit data. So navigating to 8-bit so you can capture what your client needs is a nice saving grace in this camera. So when it comes to the higher end mode, such as 422, you will need a UHS-2 card in order to record in this format. I found that out pretty quickly when I had my UHS-1s. Sadly, my UHS ones did not make the cut and I had to record at 420 for this past wedding. But honestly, again, it wasn't the end of the world because of the insanely gorgeous image I was still able to capture. Another feature I wanna talk on is the digital image stabilization. Now this is one of the first cinema cameras to include any kind of image stabilization in camera. And honestly, I am not mad about it because at first I was a little hesitant coming from the EOS R and the digital stabilization that was available in it that wasn't really the best compared to cameras like the GH5 or Sony's lineup that has five axis image stabilization. The digital stabilization did give me pause, but honestly, I was really impressed with what I was able to achieve with that turned on. Not only are you getting all the features that we know and love from this cinema camera, but you are also getting the benefit of stabilization in some form, allowing you to just be more free on the day, going handheld, getting what you need and not having to sacrifice your image and composition with, you know, the subtle shake if you don't want it. So the digital stabilization, thumbs up for me. You know, for a first impression and real world use of the Canon C70, I love it. And I knew I would be considering that I come from the C100 Mark IIs. I am a previous C200 user as well. I am just a big fan of what Canon is doing in the cinema space. So who do I think this camera is for? Obviously, I think it is for wedding filmmakers and anybody that is a commercial shooter as well. Um, I mean, even if you wanna utilize it as a studio camera, I think this camera has a lot to offer you and one that I would be excited about adding to my gear bag. For me, I think it paired really well with the Canon R6, my C100, and even my GH5. I mean, I shot with a you know well-versed selection of cameras, and I think this camera really matches up well with that lineup. So yeah, I could see myself being really happy with this camera, and I am excited to use it again. I have another wedding coming up, and I rented it again for another week. So yeah, we're gonna test it out and try to push it to its limits. I did get a UHS-2 card that's hopefully coming in the mail soon, so then I can fully you know, experience 422 and see how the file sizes also compares. Because filming in 420, obviously the file sizes were still manageable. I didn't have to worry about buying another drive or just having that anxiety of storage, but I do know once I go up to 422, that's gonna be a different story. So I will keep you guys posted on file sizes and managing that if that is a concern of yours. But thank you guys so much again for watching this video and listening to my rant and first impressions on the Canon C70. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you like about the C70? Have you used it before? Have you been considering it? Either way, I'd love to hear from you guys. So until next time, keep creating and telling beautiful stories. Peace.